All right, everyone, so here we are. We are back in the graveyard, back in the hub zone after our, well, after yet another defeat from the cleric piece. But I popped all of the uh, the blood, hard blood items, the, the cold blood dew or something of that nature. Anyway, I used all those, so I do have some blood echoes. You can see in the top right-hand corner, I have 3,100. And the doll is alive, so I can level, but I also took a gander up here and realized there's another NPC and... There's actually a workshop, so I might actually be able to upgrade my item here, but also let's talk to this NPC, see who he is and what's going on. Aha. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am... Gammon. Why was that so hard to say your own name? Hunters, you're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. So why is it for my own good? Is it you know something that I have it's to do? Just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. Fair enough. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Very good. Even the doll, should it please you. That's about the creepiest way you could have said that. Alright, and that's all you have to say. Okay, so let's see if I can actually... I can. Fortify weapon, repair weapons. And it looks like I do need to repair this. 137 out of 200 durability. And apparently my gun doesn't need it. Fortify weapon. Okay. Let's see. So bloodstone shards. I'm assuming that it says I require three, but I have eight, which is really, really good. So let's, and how much does it cost? 200 blood echoes, not bad. And the pistol also requires three. That takes 380. All right, well, let's do the cane. Ooh, I could do the cane a second time. Do I want to do the cane again or the pistol? I find myself using the cane a lot more and the pistol more so for stunning. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. All right, cool. So we have the cane up to plus two. And now, do I have any, or do I have enough blood echoes left to actually level at all? Home, good hunter. I think that's the Maiden in Black, and I haven't confirmed it yet, but... I just feel like I should touch the demon inside of her, just just to be safe. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. So the world might be mended. Let me so the world forth. might be mended. Now shut your eyes. Did I actually shut my eyes? No, I didn't. I'm not shutting my eyes. Disobeyed. Okay, so I can do two levels. Skill increases my damage. And vitality, of course, is more... Look at how low my vitality is. That is... That is very, very low. But I think... I think damage right now is the name of the game, right? Blood Tinge. That would actually increase my... My gun. Arcane increases your discovery. That's interesting. So it's kind of like... Uh, kind of like luck a little bit there. But I think I'm going to do skill and vitality. There we go. All right, that's all I have enough for. So let's go ahead. Well, good hunter. Without any Maybe further ado, oh, life. actually, you know what? I could buy a new piece of armor. Cuz I think they were 500 a piece. Also, maybe I should spend it on blood vials. Maybe I should spend it on blood vials. No, I can farm those. I can farm those. Instead, I am going to buy... Do I want the cap? Now, it doesn't seem to show me the increase, which is kind of a shame. No, nope, that, that's not what I wanted. I mean, am I wrong? That it doesn't actually tell me what it would increase to? That is a darn shame. Well, let's take a look. So the hat... Let's just look at physical defense. Hat is 50. Gloves are 40. Trousers are 50. That's easy. 50, 40, 50. Now let's take a look and see what we have now. See if I can remember actually how to use things. That is 20, 30, and 40. 
So the biggest change would actually be the hood. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's buy the hat. And I have enough for one blood vial. Might as well. Let's equip it. Stats. Nope. Oh my goodness. It's right here, Goober. Oh, look at that. Just blue across the board. Not to mention, that is snazzy looking. That is looking really good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Yarnum and I'm going to actually farm a little bit for some blood vials. So you're not going to see that part. Basically, what I'm going to do is go and farm that and I'll be back as soon as I have enough. And then we're going to take on the Cleric Beast again. Okay, did some farming, got up to 15 blood vials, which is pretty good, got some more blood echoes, and I also picked up, I think, a single Molotov? One Molotov, but I also have the oil urns. So if I can actually hit him with an oil urn and then burn him with a Molotov, theoretically, it should be doing more damage. So, all right, Cleric Beast, it's time. You and I, let's go. Probably lead with this pretty early on. Okay. Good hit there. And don't miss. Please don't miss. 319. All right. Not bad. Not, not bad. Although that was a bad start. But now it's all up to all up to me and my, my cane. My trusty cane. Yes. Do that. All right, the damage isn't too bad. It definitely is helping that I upgraded my cane twice. But I would also, yes, do that, please. Come on. I want you to go ahead and give me that move where I can actually do something. Easy damage. I'll be going to take a while doing 82 damage. I have no idea what he does here, but it kind of just seems like it's free damage for me. It, it seems like it should be a buff, but it's almost not. Uh-oh. I don't like being down here. I would much, much rather be on the longer portion of the bridge. Uh-oh. There we go. We are going to make liberal use of our blood vials. I don't know what attacks cause him to actually stagger and fall down. If I'm being honest. You know what though? I have an idea. Let's go ahead and turn our Quicksilver bullets or imbue them with our blood and see if that's gonna do any more damage. Well, it only did nine. Oh, I can target different parts of his body. That hurt. That hurt a lot. But I can target different parts of his body, so maybe now we have a better strategy. And again. Now, does he have my blood echoes, or are they on the ground? I think they're on the ground, because his eyes aren't glowing. Oh wait, nope, I have my torch equipped. So you know what won't do any good? Most likely hitting him with a torch. All right, let's see if I can get my blood echoes. Oh, there's also an item down here. But that's, that is not important right now. You didn't seem too affected by that. Oh, oh, or you are a little bit affected by that. Okay, that might work. I'll try that some, but it looks like it has to be, oh, jeez, headshots. Which is probably not. Okay, time to roll away, face me. 
Alright, I'm going to use more of my blood to power up these bullets. Come on. You're you're staggering a little, but it's really not that much. Alright. Back up. Have another shot. You didn't mind. Give me something I can work with here, pal. I'm almost wondering if I have to hit his head in order to trigger that falling animation. Oh, that was a good opportunity to attack, and I, I missed it. Me, give me some sort of pound or something, and maybe the small jump. There it is. Ah, I missed both attacks. You know what? Let's switch to whip so I have better range. And I'm still doing decent damage 46 damage. It's not great. But that might give me an opportunity to hit his head when he jumps if I can time it just a little bit better. That was poorly timed, I should have dodged. All right, we're gonna heal, oh geez. Not sure what he's doing. Oh, I went the wrong way. It's all right, back up. We're gonna double heal. That was solid hits, solid hits. Oh, I'm back to the cane. Why am I back to the cane? I thought I was in whip mode. Alright, half, it's down to half, it's not bad. I would very much like it if I could knock him down some more. Do the little leap. Not that, I want the little, the small jump. This, no. It's almost like he got bled out just now. Don't get too greedy. Let's see if we can get past him. Yes, we can. Oh, but then I walked right into him. I think the whip is the way to go for me because the added range seems to be pretty beneficial. Nope. I meant to roll, but I was already sprinting. Ay, ay, ay. Running out of blood vials. Again. There we go. There's the leap. Escape, heal up. Ooh, 
That was a big AOE he just did. I'm glad I somehow avoided it. Not sure how he just avoided that, though. Wow, how am I not hitting him anymore? There was a good hit. Alright, he's... He's getting there. Roll away, roll away. This could be it. Let's just stay on top of it. That was really good. Oh, get out of there. That might be the AoE. It is the AoE. He's almost dead. Oh. That's it. He's dead. Cleric Beast is dead. Beast number one in Bloodborne is no more. Prey slaughtered. And I got the Sword Hunter badge. What is the Sword Hunter badge? That is the wrong, wrong place. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. The Silver Sword is a symbol of a church hunter. Ludwig was the first of many Healing Church hunters to come, many of whom were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed into the most hideous beasts. And I'm wearing Ludwig's hat. Or at least a hat uh, similar to what Ludwig wore. So, okay, those were bullets. I actually, eh, no, I didn't run out of bullets, so that's okay. And none of those open, but it looks like I have a lantern here. And we can probably go back and level up. We got some more... Got some more blood echoes. So let's do that. Let's head to Hunter's Dream. Welcome home. What is it? What is it I desire? Very Channel well. my blood echoes. Let me stand. I think I I kind of would actually like to get a little bit more discovery. I don't know what the max is. But let's put some... How many can I do? So I'm at 12. I can go up five more levels. So let's do one in Arcane, one in Skill, two in Vitality, and one in Endurance. It seems like a good spread, right? Right. All right. Leaves me with 115 Blood Echoes. Farewell. So I'll leave you. And now let's go take a look. I don't think anything was available for 115. Oh, boy. There's more... There's more uh, more items. There's antidote, medicinal pellets that counteract poison. Used to treat ashen blood, the baffling sickness that ravaged old Yarnum long ago. These tablets only provide short-term relief. The ashen blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the beastly scourge. Bold Hunter's Mark. Dangling upside down rune etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon this parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity. Allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes, a trick that seems nearly too good to be true. Hmm. So, would this be something that if I think I'm going to die, it almost functions like the Ring of Sacrifice. I would use this item, and then when I die, I actually keep all my blood echoes. That's, that's how I'm reading it. A hand lantern, this hunting accessory provides light while leaving both hands free to hold weapons. The torch, however, provides a stronger source of light. So maybe that dangles from my belt or something, so I can actually still use both my weapons. That's actually pretty, pretty darn useful. Here's another item. Hunter Chief Emblem. A cloth emblem that belonged to the captain of the church hunters long ago. Opens the main gate that leads to the round plaza of the Great Cathedral, an area I'm assuming I haven't seen yet. The main gate is shut tight on Knights of the Hunt and could only be opened from the other side with this emblem. In other words, the captain's return and this emblem determine the end of the hunt. A new weapon, a Kirk Hammer. On the one side, an easily handled silver sword. On the other, a giant of two stone weapon characterized by a blunt strike and extreme force of impact. The church takes a heavy handed, merciless stance toward the Plague of Beasts, an irony lo not lost upon the wielders of this most symbolic weapon. Oh my goodness, repeating pistol. Crafted with mostly metal parts and exhibiting a complex design, the repeating pistol fires two shots at once, making it a ravenous consumer of quicksilver bullets. Should be used sparingly compared to its workshop counterpart as the trump card in one's arsenal. And then just the regular hunter garb, and that's it. Cool. New stuff. Alright, well I guess we're going to head back into Central Yarnum. Nope. Oh. German's gone. So no new dialogue here. Unless he's just elsewhere just perusing the cemetery like a creep. Okay, well let's go back because we have that sewer section to deal with. And um, I will see you guys in Central Yarnum, or actually, on the Great Bridge. All right.
right. And as expected, traveling anywhere, even though you haven't died, does actually bring enemies back. But that, we expected that. Not a surprise. Nope, nope. Go away. Oh my goodness, bros. Scram! Alright, brick guy, let's go. Oh, hey. Easy there, partner. Nope. Oh, nope. Finish, 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 quick. Ay, ay, ay. That, that was brutal. Really wish I had more blood vials. There's a couple. All right, over to over to the sewers. And a kill of things along the way, even if we don't necessarily need to, because for that reason, exactly, we want blood vials. How about you? Anything? Yep. Excellent. you. Anything? No? Eh, I'll kill you for fun, because you scare me. Whoa! Oh, that's fun. He gets pushed back. It's pretty great. So, actually, you know what? That symbol that I get sometimes when I actually uh, collect items, I'm wondering if that means that I am full. Because it seems like 20 is the max that I can get for both blood vials and quicksilver bullets. So that might make sense. Uh, we're going to bypass the... Uh, the brick guys do have either a really good chance or or a definite chance of dropping the healing items. So let's, let's deal with them. They're not too bad. Just be smart about it. go. Good clean kill. And yes, two blood vials. Good. So they might have a 100% chance. If not, it's very, very high. That should have hit. place. Oh, he has that really, really rapid turnaround. Forget it. Cheesing. Bullets don't seem too hard to come by. Although I thought I remember reading when people were playing a very early build that bullets were were extremely rare and, and had to be uh, had to be held on to. You know what, there were a couple places that we kind of saw briefly, like this. Where does this elevator lead? Is it coming from top or bottom? It's coming from the bottom. All right, let's see if this is a shortcut maybe into the sewers. Or... Or, okay, no, I give up. Where am I? Oh, this is the bridge with the trap on it. Yep. Okay, let's... And that goes down into the sewers. Perfect. So I think we can go down here because I don't think there was any items we missed. I don't remember seeing any items we missed, but... If I did, I apologize. Alright, so now we have to deal with whatever this thing is. Which kind of reminds me, just the way it's walking towards me, of the Fang Boar in Dark Souls 1. And you're gonna charge? You sure are. Okay. Ooh, that was a bad dodge. What are you doing? Oh.
Watch it. Watch it. Back up. There we go. Good dodge. Get up there and attack. I would like you to charge again. Thank you. No, no, no. All right, he's down. Pig is down. And he gives me a couple of blood vials. Good. I could use those. And what do we have here? Cold blood dew, so some consumable blood echoes. And a saw hunter badge. So I have two badges now. This is the badge of a workshop sanctioned hunter. Attest to one's prowess as a hunter of beasts. The workshop is gone and no group recognizes this meaningless badge except the messengers in the bath who understand its profundity. Certain things can only be entrusted with a hunter in possession of this badge or so they believe. Oh, I think I get it now. So, except the messengers in the bath. The bath messengers are the merchants. So, when I went back to the graveyard just a bit ago I had the sword hunter badge and maybe that's what allowed me to buy those new items maybe now with the saw hunter badge I can actually go and purchase more items okay so you have to find these badges in order to unlock inventory got it what do we have here beware of trap do you mean this this blatant fall yeah I don't know why I don't even know if that's a trap that's just a that's just a fall a trap would be if, you know, it was actually something subtle, but that was just a hole in the wall, or a hole in the floor. If you fell through that, that's on you. Alright. Nice long ladder. Oh, FromSoft, you and your ladders. You do love them so. Okay, this is the bridge with the trap. Can I trigger the trap? Or... I'll let you trigger it. That works for me, too. And you died very easily because you also got damage from triggering the trap. We're going to go and kill these guys because I would like to see if I can get any more, any more blood vials off of them. Yeah, there's definitely one shiny already. You lived somehow, which is actually, frankly, amazing. There's a blood vial. Nothing else. All right, so now we put the connection together. There's the elevator. There's the path down to the sewers. And this way is unexplored territory. What do we have up here? Two enemies not paying any attention. Can I get a drop on him? Maybe, actually, a drop. How about a jumping attack? Pretty effective. But, fighting both at once is going to prove to be difficult. Wow, that guy has a serious combo with the torch. Nope. Nope. Back up. Back up. Alright, how about doesn't really stagger all that much, huh? Alright, he is not dead. I thought he was dead. But he's almost. So, can I finish him like this? Yes, good. Now it's just this guy, which is not too bad. Especially when he staggers with an R1. Rather, R2. And he's dead. For my troubles, I get... Stop moving pair of blood vials, and another pair. Great. So it actually, even though I took a bunch of hits, was still profitable. What were you guys looking at? Just these statues? A bold, a pair of bold hunter's marks. So what are those? Oh, okay. Awaken anew without losing... I thought I just got two. Did I not? Am I crazy? Hmm. Alright. Anyway. we have here? Anything hiding? No. Nothing. Alright. Into this big open area. With a cutscene. Of course.
What you doing there? This hunter is uh, pretty serious. Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them sooner or later. That detail looks really good. You're gonna want to kill me, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. All right. Heal up. Where am I? Okay. Wow. He's got a serious gun. Okay. I did 65 damage. He did a lot more than that. So let's let's heal. Ooh. That is painful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Got the repost off. Now I can heal? I think I'm really going to have to time. Ooh, jeez. Time those shots really well if I want. If I want the parry. That that was not it. What what's that smell? I don't know. The sweet blood. Oh, you're just talking about the blood of mine that you've been Oh jeez. Okay, let's maybe uh take a look around, see if there's anything I can use to my advantage. Not really. Alright, we're gonna top off our health. Whoa. You are fast, you know that? Oh no. Oh, he just he just tricked. But that does mean that he doesn't have his gun now. But it does also mean that he has incredible reach. Wow. All right, he used his gun. I didn't think I could use mine when I was tricked out. Yes, I can. What am I talking about? Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Come on. Oh, I missed it. And that's it for me. Bummer. 